Gypsy Christine asked me to do a little bit of didgeridoo playing, which I can hardly do, but nonetheless, very small one. I'll do what I can. asked me to point out I killed them unfortunately before I got to get the camera there's a common jumping jack out in the middle of the bush they're a little black ant that can bite multiple times they're aggressive and they get their name jumping jack because when they are agitated they sort of effectively jump across the ground towards you there's another one and then they latch onto you and then the, the smell of the venom, once one of them bites you, agitates all the others and gets them into a frenzy and they will attack you and bite you. You end up with severe swelling and it takes four or five days of irritated itchiness before it goes away. If you're allergic, of course, you'll swell up severely, like uh, my son Travis, his hand on one bite swells up like a balloon. Anyhow, if I see some live ones, I'll record them for her. Christine asked me to do a little bush commentary. We're heading down to the creek. Can't see our campsite up there anymore. Anyhow, so you come down a little bushy trail. Obviously, normally you can pick a path where, because it's a watering hole, of course, there's wombats and wallabies and stuff that usually knocked a bit of a path down and there's an obvious little track through there and you come across a nice little babbling book incredibly clear water No fish, it's too, too small a string for that, or it may be tiny ones, but very unlikely. All the same, I've come down to do the dishes. And when I do that, we happen to have some plastic shopping bags, which I take home of course. So, let's put my hand into it. It's a bit hard to do one handed, give me a second. So I wrap my hand up into the plastic bag and grab the pot. I either dig the pot or just put I need some dirt, rock, mud, whatever. It's pretty obvious. A lot of people know this. You throw sand or dirt into it, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna wash it all out in a minute. And the plastic bag is so that I don't need to get dirt under my fingernails. And that's your scouring pad. Let's give that a rinse out. Clean enough to eat off again. Okay, plastic bag goes back up. A spoon, well I didn't do that while I was at it, but I can just rummage him around in the mud and gets all the food off it. That'll do. Quiet little Aussie stream. During heavy rain this would probably be over my head with water flow. Like Gypsy Christine channel, 
please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching.